guys, what's up? I am hanging out with Vinay from HTC Vive. How's your CES so far? CES so far is amazing. So right now we are standing in front of the model of the wireless solution for Vive, I guess is the best way to say it, because the solution can work with existing Vive headsets, new to come Vive headsets, et cetera. Tell me a little bit about how the solution came to be. Solution is definitely a great word for that because uh, wireless is much, much more than just a product. It's the first time that you we've actually seen a wireless adapter that really meets the best quality standards of the industry. It actually works seamlessly, utilizing Intel's 60 gigahertz band frequency, which really reduces the noise and sometimes some of the uh, obstructions you get with other wireless frequencies. And as you can kind of see from the product, it actually seamlessly kind of fits and integrates into not just Vive Pro, but also the current Vive with great weight distribution and also just antennas that are balanced so that way you get the best angle. Because when you're doing wireless in VR, you are going to move a lot more than you normally do. And I have to say, I just got a chance to check it out and it is certainly better than any backpack solution that I've tried. This adapter is very, very small. It's a little pack that I actually just clipped onto my belt mixed with this piece that just goes onto the headset. And uh, there's also some cameras involved. Can you talk a little bit about the setup? Basically, you have the wireless adapter. You also have an antenna and actually a camera that goes ahead and actually distributes the 60 gigahertz frequency. The antennas are then built to really pick up that frequency as it kind of bounces off different objects in the room. So kind of really maximizing the, the tracking ability so you're maintaining 90 frames a second with high visual fidelity, which is actually really key to make sure you don't have drops in frames, have low latency, and have a very immersive and seamless VR experience. Now, for people who haven't tried it yet, I feel like anyone who is uh, maybe a doubter out there of wireless VR saying because of the drops in frames, because you're doing this wirelessly, I might feel sick, I might get motion sickness. What do you say to them? HTC's commitment is always to have the best immersive experience in VR hands down. And our wireless adapter continues to fulfill that promise. And in fact, as you can see in our multiplayer examples, you have multiple headsets in the space really interacting in that environment. But we also have a lot of enterprise customers as well, a lot of prosumers who cannot actually have drops in frames and need that high level quality. Because when you're doing a surgery training, you can't really kind of mess that up. And that's something we definitely don't want to happen. For sure, and do you happen to know off the top of your head what the difference in resolution is uh, when going wireless? So we, we still actually maintain that same level of uh, visual fidelity in wireless. Awesome, well thank you so much for telling me all about the wireless solution. I think people at home are really excited for it. When can they expect to maybe have this in hand? We are excited for summer of 2018. Excellent. Thank you so much, Vinay, and have a great CES. Thank you.